You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adorama TV iPad app reviews. Well this week we have an awesome app, it's called the Photographer's Contract Maker. On Digital Photography One on One, one of our sister shows, I actually did a video about street photography, it's episode 70, and in that video I mentioned that you can get contract and model releases right on your iPad or your iPhone, and people asked me about some of those apps that can do that. Well this one does just that, but it does even more than just model releases, it actually does contracts, so if you have a second shooter at a wedding, or if you need to talk to a client and have a contract for a photo shoot, well the photographer's contract maker can do all of that and you can even create custom contracts. So let's take a closer look at the photographer's contract maker. The photographer's contract maker is really easy to use. It comes with four built-in contracts. There's a photo shoot, a model release, a copyright release, and a second shooter work for hire. And you can edit all of these. So let's go in here and first look at something down here. It's called our settings. So when I click on that, you can see that you can put in all of your photographer info. So you can put in your name, how you're doing your business, your address. You can even put in your signature and all kinds of things, logos and uh, your uh, picture if you want of your face if you want to do that and even down here there's this thing called useful links so if you need help or if you want to get some support user forums um, you can get all of that right here which is really nice and so we're going to just leave this um, and you'll see photographer's name shows up it could say you know Mark Wallace or something like that now the other thing that you can do here is you can add clients and I've already added two clients I've added, added Brenda model which is a fake model that we are using and Rich Rush he's a photographer friend of mine so I added him in there so you can click import and then I'll open up your contacts I'm not going to do that because I don't want you to see all my contacts or you can go in and click add and then you can just type things in just like you would on a normal contact list and add people that way and so it's really easy to keep a list of all of your uh, clients and your models um, and all those kinds of things and then of course you can delete uh, if you want to get rid of somebody that's in there, which I don't. So I'm going to go back here to this and I'll show you how you can build a contract. It's really easy. So this contract would be for maybe if I'm working with a client and we're trying to determine the terms of the shoot. So I could go in here and say, here's my photo shoot and I need to add a few things. So first I need to add a client. So for this, I'm going to say Rich is the client and you can see there it says Rich Rush. And then if I need a witness for this contract, sometimes you need those, sometimes you don't. But I'm going to say Brenda is going to be the person that's going to be the, uh, the witness and she'll be able to sign that. And let's say we're going to shoot this on July 18th. And so I'll say done. And then we're going to start this at, oh, I don't know, 9.30 in the morning. Sounds good. So we have all of those things done. Now what I can do is I can click preview. And what that will do is it'll bring up the exact contract and say here it is previewed so it's got my contract the sample it's got all the different things in there shoot prices etc and this is a template so you can um, modify this and then uh, once you have that done I can say okay client I want you to sign it once I click that then the client signs that and so I'll just type in B for Brenda and hit save and then you see that um, that pops in here at the bottom so I'm um, actually I should have <laughs> typed in R for Rich Rush but that's okay. Then if I say witness sign, that should be B because Brenda is the witness. So I'll say Brenda. Um, and then you can see here in a second that'll pop in and then the bottom, there it is, two signatures that uh, aren't really signatures, but there you go. And that's how all the contracts work. So I can then save that and it's going to say it's already saved because it does that automatically, which is really cool. So I'm going to go down here and say I want a new job and I'll go to the main and I can uh, maybe look and say, okay, I need a model release. And then again, you go in here, put in your client and we'll say Brenda is the model. And this time Rich is the witness and the shoot date is the 17th and the shoot time is at uh, 5.20 in the afternoon. Now the difference here is I can hit preview just like we did before and put in everything. I can also hit edit and this works for any of these contracts. Then I can change things if I need to and I'll show you what these placeholders are here in a second. But I can go in here and if I needed to change something, I could go in and say, you know, this is a test, whatever. So I just, if there's any kind of thing that needs to be uh, modified uh, right on the premises, you can do that. And once I have that done, then I can go over here and click preview. Once I hit preview, it brings it up and uh, you can see that my changes are in there. And then once again, I can have the client sign it, the witness sign it, and we have that done. So I'm gonna do this really fast. I'm gonna have the client sign, I hit X, and then I'll have, uh, once that's popped in here, there's the X, I'll have the witness sign it and I'll have X for that. And then I can show you some other features. Now once that's done, 
Once again, I can save this. It's going to say it's already saved, so that's okay. We'll go back here. Let me show you a couple other things you can do that make this really a powerful application. So I'll go back to the main menu here. Now, let's say that I want to edit some of these uh, model releases. I'll click Edit, and then I have some choices down here. The first one is this little plus. I can hit plus, and I can create my own contract. So I'll type this in and say this is a contract test. Whoops. There we go, test. And then I can say test, 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 whatever. So if you have some kind of a, um, a contract that you want to put in here, you can type that in. There's some things that are really interesting that you can put in here. So for example, if you wanted to say dear, and then the name of your client, well, you don't have to type the name of the client in there every time. You can just go to the placeholders here, and then you can say client.name. And just like a form letter, that's going to put in the name of the client. And if I go in here and want to put in a different placeholder, you can see I'll close this little help menu, that there's all of these different kinds of placeholders, the street, city, state, the witness name, city, street, name, the photographer's address, all of these different things. So you can build placeholders in your contracts, and so you can uh, automatically populate those with the uh, different variables you put in from your contact list, which is really nice. Then I can save that, and then you can see that now I have my contract test, and if I want to use that in the future, I can just pop that in right there. Now there's another thing you can do that makes this really neat. You can push this 2x and that is saying, hey, I'm going to duplicate a contract. So let's say I have a model release, but I want one that's uh, time for print. Well, you can see that now I have two of those. So then I can go in there and I can edit this new version that I had and uh, make that into maybe a time for print model release. So you don't have to start from scratch, which is really nice. You can also delete and you can change the order in which these things appear. So if I wanted this one to be down at the bottom, I can do that. So it makes it really, really easy to do things. If I go back to the main menu, there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is that I have this saved list. So all of the different uh, contracts that I've put in here, if it's a model release or a property release or whatever it is, you can put that in there and it's a saved contract and then I can just bring that up at any time. And then once that's there, I can do several things. I can have the client re-sign it or the witness sign it. But the other thing I can do is I can click email and this will actually convert it to a PDF and then I can send that off to my client or the model. So everybody has a version of that contract. So it makes sure everybody knows what's going on. Well, that's the Photographer's Contract Maker. It's an awesome app for professional and semi-professional photographers. And it's only about $3, so it's a great investment. Well, thanks again for joining me this week. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of our videos. And if you have a suggestion for an iPad app that you'd like me to take a look at, you can send that suggestion to askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks again for uh, joining me, and I'll see you again next episode. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Remember, make sure you subscribe to our video so you don't make... Sorry.